Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Suzu Linux 15 version on VMA workstation. First go to Suzu Linux official website that is suzu.com. Click on free downloads. See here, we have the Suzu Linux enterprise server, micro, container images and other options. Okay, so click on download. See here we have the 15 service pack 6 from 1 to 6 and the architectures AMD or Intel ARM power G, G systems. Okay, so scroll down. See here this is the product description and this is the minimum RAM required for the swap and the space required is 2 gigabytes and these are the recommendations for specific uses. See we can download media 1 is for media 2 iso so select amd64 then select the file name and click on download then here we have to register you have to provide your first name last name company country state or province telephone and email address these are all mandatory fields then you have to select the checkbox i have already an account so click on login if you don't have you have to register as shown in previous screen then click on sign in now once you log in see here we have the login information now you need to click on again download see once we clicked on download it started the download go to downloads see the so size is 15.3 gigabytes okay i'm cancelling this one because see here i have already downloaded suzu linux Ser enterprise server 15 sp6 full iso file okay in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open vma workstation if you want to install vma workstation you can install vma workstation player it is free to use for non-commercial purpose if you have the vma workstation pro then it's fine now go to vma See here I have the both the versions VMA Workstation Pro and VMA Workstation Player. As I told you earlier, VMA Workstation Player is free to use for non-commercial purpose. I will keep the link in the video description to install the VMA Workstation 17 Player on Windows operating systems. Open either one but the installation process is same on either of these two applications. Okay. Click on create a new virtual machine. Then select the installer disk image, then select the browse, then select the downloaded Suzu Linux Enterprise Server ISO file. Then click on open, then click on next, then select Linux in the drop down, select the Suzu Linux Enterprise 15. See here we have the Suzu Linux from 7 to 15. So select the 15. 64 bit and click on next here provide the name i'm giving suzu 15.6 6 means service pack number then location for this virtual machine files and folder provide the location where you have the enough space click on next now we have to give the space i am giving 100 gigabytes for the virtual disk then click on next see by default it has selected memory as 768 megabytes if you want to increase you have to click on customize hardware i am going to give 4 gigabytes it is up to you based on the availability use this pointer to move up or down and number of processors i am giving 2 if you want to enable Virtualization, you have to select this virtualize and if you want to enable CPU performance controls, you have to enable this. Okay, then click on close. Now click on finish. Still, if you want to edit the settings of this virtual machine, click on edit virtual machine settings. Okay, or right click and select settings, both are same. Once you are okay with all these settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Or right click and select the power, then power on. 
both are same so click on power on this virtual machine use up and down arrows select the second option that is installation and hit enter Now we have to select the product to install. See here we have the Suzu Linux Enterprise Server, Suzu Linux Real Time, Suzu Linux Enterprise Server for SAP applications and Suzu Linux Enterprise Desktop. I am going with Suzu Linux Enterprise Desktop, but this process is same for all these four products. Okay. Now select the language. I am going with English, US. Keyboard layout also same. Then click on next then select the the checkbox that is i agree the license terms then only we will be able to click on next so click on next now skip registration click on ok then click on next by default it is going to install base system module desktop application module suzu linux enterprise workstation extension you want to install python 3 module public cloud module or other options you have to check the whatever the modules that you require at this moment i don't want anything scripting module you have to select this one then click on next it is up to you to select the modules then click on next see these are the product informations information still if you want to add you have to click on add if you want to delete any one of these you have to select delete see select the genome desktop or genome desktop x11 basic or minimal so i am going with wayland it is full featured genome desktop environment including office suite email client file manager and other options so i am going with the first one so click on so select the genome desktop wayland and click on next next suggested partitioning guided setup so click on next now select the clock and time zone so select the region from this old map suppose if you are from india you have to click on here then select the india asia as the region and time zone as kolkata also see here hardware clock set to utc if you want you can select the checkbox otherwise uncheck it other settings i am not going to set so select that region and time zone and click on next now we have to create a user i am giving username as r2 schools it is up to you then provide the password then use this password for the system administrator so check this checkbox and this will be the password for the system administrator generally it is root okay so click on next see it is saying it is simple password so it's okay so click on yes see this is the summary of the suzu linux 15.5 so click on install click on this is the confirmation so click on install see suzu linux enterprise desktop 15 service pack 6 has been installation has been started See, installation has been completed and it is restarted. Click on username and provide the password. Now click on show apps, then open terminal, then increase the font, preferences, select unnamed, select the checkbox that is custom font, drop down, increase the font, click on select, close this one, now verify more slash etc os hyphen release hit enter see we have installed suzu linux enterprise desktop 15 service pack 6 
control L to clear screen. Okay. If you want to repair IP of this machine, give IP ADDR. See, this is the IP of the machine. Okay. Now the first step is we have to update the packages by using Zipper update. Provide the password of sudo root account. Ah, see, all packages are updated. Okay. Control L to clear screen. Check the host name. See, this is the host. So in this video, we have seen how to download and install Suzu Linux 15.6 on VMA Workstation. For more Suzu Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.